Get the cash. This guy won't give me his money. <laughs> well, he looks broke. He spent it all on that thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Amusement Archive. We're back at Frontier City. We're gonna check out what's new at the park. I haven't been here in a while, so we're gonna see all the cool new stuff. Let's go. So we got here before rope drop today. They actually do a Wild West shootout before the park opens, so we're gonna try to hit that up. I haven't seen that yet. Um, there's also a saloon show, hopefully they're doing that today so we can see that. But other than that, we're just gonna walk around, see if I find anything new, and just do the fun old Frontier City stuff. I'm not sure if this stuff's new, but it seems that the signs and everything are more detailed like they're just putting a lot of more detail into the buildings at the front i don't remember seeing this sign here or maybe even this little section new sign here man this is cool they're really putting a lot of time and effort i believe they repainted this pretty awesome Let's see if he's in here. Still sleeping. Yeah, you can't see him now. I think you used to be able to see him. That sign's probably new. All these. This looks pretty similar to what it was. This is really nice, making the park look a lot better. I feel like these signs are new. Got a new sign over here. A new sign there. <laughs> Check it out. And then this one, I'm pretty sure is new Coco and Common Sense Pure and Simple. That's the Navajo Taco spot. And then there's actually a Colt Firearm sign up there, if you can see it. There's even a chair and a barrel up there. I don't know what that means, but I don't know if they were up there before, but they got that Colt sign up there. I actually think it's pretty awesome that a bunch of people are here on rope drop like before the park even opens just shows that the uh, popularity of Frontier City is still around super cool people are excited to get here Before 
you die, uh, you sold me that 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yeah. Oh, oh I'm bleeding. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, the agony. Oh. Hey, Sheriff. You just lost me 20 bucks. That's it, George. Drop your gun. Your private days are over. I'm we'll see about that. Like I said, I ain't letting you lay a finger on any of these fun towns, folks. I want to get shot. You Man, that gunfight was actually really cool. So if you get here 15 minutes before opening on Saturday and Sunday, they do that gun show. So definitely come to Frontier City early so you can see that. All right, the rope has dropped. I'm gonna kind of look around and find some new stuff. The Nutty Bavarian. Looks like a new sign up there. Show times 1245, 245, 445. So I'm gonna come back and see those shows. We already seen Deputy Dog before. And they had those new artwork pieces. The last time we were in there above the uh, counter there. Not sure if that's a new sign or not. Pretty awesome. Some, the carnival games over there. Pretty cool. Got the oversized wooden chair right there. Fancy hats. This might be new. This tooth cleaning pencil sign. Check it out. Great antiseptic. Pretty dang cool. So we're on the other side of the bumper cars over here. And thinking that sign might be new right there for the best tortillas in all Southwest. Check it out. And here's the boarding house here. I believe this thing has been here for a long time. Well, I'm sure all these buildings have, but I don't know what the history is of that building, but definitely probably something big back in the day based on the size of it. We got some Mr. Fans here and some uh, little carnival games over here. Pretty cool, look at that big SpongeBob bananas right there. Looks fun. So that's a little game you throw the bean bags and knock off the letters. Some Pokemon right here. Some Sonic and Knuckles. And then this looks like a duck game. Pretty cool. Some iguanas up there, and dinosaurs. Got the steel lasso right here for trespassing. Put Zach Pruitt in these here stocks. Lost the key, but saved a lot. This may actually be a new sign. Because they got the new look of the Rolling Thunder right there. Or they updated some of these. Got the waterworks up there, which is not open. And then got the Gunfight Show, Renegade Rapids, and the Ferris Wheel. Got the old Dippin' Dots. Used to be a big deal when um, places had dipping dots. This park had them, and I think the zoo here had them. But for a long time, when the dipping dots went out of the malls, there wasn't many places to get them besides Frontier City and uh, the zoo. But now I think there's a lot more dipping dots back out. That's the Tin Lizzie little car ride there old-fashioned car ride 
We're coming up on the silver bullet here. This looks new. Carriage house, like they redid it. Put a little facade in it. Tin Lizzie's produce. Maybe a new sign right there. Also got this sign back here, Boss Carriage House, 1958. So I guess I haven't filmed this new sign here because the sign was right here last time. But we got the silver bullet. They put the a new sign up here with the bullet and everything. Really cool. And they put some of the old rides here that are no longer around it's awesome that they're paying tribute to some of the older rides we got the swinging six guns so obviously a little rope swing ride that they used to have we got the hangman here drop ride I just love how they're putting so much time and effort into the park now. We got the roundup here. Super awesome ride. And then I definitely remember this, but I never rode it. The eruption. So they used to pull you down on this and then release it. And you would just fly up in the air on these little bungees. Super cool that they put this tribute in this uh, line queue for Silver Bullet. A couple people on the first ride of Silver Bullet about to hit that loop. Man, that loop, this is one of my, this is my favorite ride here. But that loop is really fun. Super cool ride. If you ever make it to Frontier City, definitely a must ride coming down towards the wildcat we got us another tribute to frontier city's past got this mural here of the old entrance of frontier city so if you ever look up postcards from back in the day a lot of them have this image on it um, this is actually an artist render, but super cool showing the entrance to Frontier City from way back in the day. But pretty dang cool. They actually, the Wild West Waterworks way back there. If you can see it back there, it's not going to be opening this year. So, um, I, I mean, we don't normally do the water park here, but sure someone's bummed about it got this awesome tiger might have got a new paint job looks pretty pretty fresh right now the wildcat and the cool thing about the wildcat is they have all these um, wooden coasters and stuff little signs with all the wooden coasters on it pretty fun to read while you're in a long line and we're, they actually have the water going here so we're gonna check that out i usually film the drop of this ride but i'm gonna film from right here i don't think i've ever gotten this view before because there's a new water effect down here well an old effect that they've brought back so we'll see them come up right here Check it out, it goes all the way out there into the wilderness and then comes back around here. We're gonna just wait for it, but I'm gonna have to back up a little bit cause the water is gonna spray when they come down this way. But y'all will get wet. Should be coming up here pretty soon down this little hill and they're gonna get sprayed so i don't know how long it's been since they've had that water effect but 
it's super awesome that they brought it back. Why it's riding a torturous tornado tilt the world. Look at how excited he is. <laughs> See if we can catch him on the way back. ride this one by themselves I cannot handle it anymore check out the two John saloon show here shows are at 1245 245 and 445 come in here and check out the show and get some drinks and snacks while you're in here pretty Dang cool. Matt and Barker's glad I'm here. Tonight our year's just grand. I'm proud to run this friendly place. I'm proud to shake your hand. You come here on the lucky day. We play a show for you. So sit right back and please enjoy the news you do Super cool show. Definitely check it out if you're in Frontier City. They got three different times a day. This is another building I feel like has been updated. The Trapper's Trading Post got a whole bunch of cool like bear traps and stuff up there. Got a bunch of them around here. I just think it's been repainted too. Got this awesome sign right here. That's awesome right there. Got some new stuff over here on the side. Going into Fort Frontier right here. The main hub, got all the eating, the magic show, all kinds of stuff in here. Pretty much looks the same. Got some cool theming up there by the bathrooms. But doesn't look like anything has really changed in Fort Frontier, magic shows in there, 
and then they don't do anything on that stage anymore i know sometimes during christmas they play like the grinch on a tv screen and stuff but i've never seen them do any shows or anything on that stage in the past few years but still pretty cool theming in here i'm in the trading post here i never knew they had these sky coaster hats in here 10 bucks the sky coaster is that little zip line that you have to pay extra for and then look at this flip up flip down they got sunglasses in them that's pretty funny oh my gosh silver bullet shirt i've never seen that before i may have to get that it's not like my favorite design but i've never seen it so here's the other side of the trappers trading post and i'm pretty sure this is a new sign here Rhodes light and power company pretty cool maybe a few changes over here that's his diamondback saloon now up there check that out it says the diamondback saloon that's a pretty cool little easter egg up there on the astoria bathhouse look at what it says water changed weekly that's pretty disgusting and that's actually the bathroom and then here's the log ride here also they're adding this like gazebo thing here i'm not sure what that is gonna be but that's interesting new dippin dot stand here have a six flags little alcohol set up there <laughs> haven't seen that before and supposedly this little gazebo by the log ride is going to be like a sports bar or something let's take a closer look over here but looks like they're setting it up that's pretty cool though that they're adding something new over here by the log ride looks like a little maybe a bar set up here that you can walk through over to this little island it's going to be some kind of a sports bar i guess that's pretty awesome I haven't shown this in a while but across from the log ride which is right over there you got this pretty cool like actual train car here the sweet Adeline pretty neat there's a mine car right there but man I wonder if you can go in that car if there's like some kind of a special like party thing where you can walk through the car because this is actually you can rent out these little picnic areas in here at least you could at one time but i don't know you got the winged warrior here which i do not like that ride anymore because it makes me dizzy but my family loves riding that ride this season they updated this winged warrior sign here it's just one of the rides that kind of fly around in a circle and you can make the cars go different directions by moving the fin there in the front pretty cool there's jackson and white right there Got the nightmare building right there. Boneyard justice served. Train's not running today. It would have been cool to ride the train, but it's just nice walking around the park, seeing all these new features that they've added. We're gonna go ride the Renegade Rapids. Love this ride. Y'all, we 
will get wet. All the arrows. Made you look. Add all this gum on the wall. Got some cool signs here. Samuel P. Smith, Gentleman Bandit. Top Secret Ahead. Smiling Jack Black, $2,000 reward. Don't take it. Ready, Jack? No. <laughs> It's not us. Jackson, are you allergic to water? It's not, it's me! It's gonna be Wyatt. It's gonna be all of them. This part has to be It's gonna get you first, Libby. It has to. It always has to be I'm going right for it. Oh, wait. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Here we go. Frontier City. I'm leaving wondering if they changed out some of the signs and stuff on this bank here. I think this is the customer, yeah, the guest relations, but it's pretty neat. Back in the gift shop, wanted to show some of the Diamondback stuff. I've shown this shirt before, but I'm not sure if they had these keychains here or kind of a tag or a keychain whatever got some magnets got some of these cups here take a close look here pretty cool graphic also got these shot glasses with the diamond back but pretty awesome there's the entrance to the roller coaster there. Jackson's actually out there riding it. I'm taking a break from the Diamondback this week, but I'll be back and I'll be riding it. But just wanted to check out the new merchandise. Found another ride hat in the main gift shop for the Gunslinger. Always like ride specific merchandise. I got some new combo hats and shirts. If you buy more than one, there's 17 for the combo. This ride one's pretty cool with the coaster. There's also this little logo here. And then they got the American flag ones. Pretty cool, A pretty good deal if you buy two of them. Another awesome day at Six Flags Frontier City. Man, got to see so many cool new updates. Got to see some new shows. It was hot as heck, but it was pretty fun. So thanks for taking a trip with the Amusement Archive. Got tons of videos, check the playlist. Find something you're interested in. Have some fun watching some videos. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. And we'll be back to Frontier City before you know it. Hey, this is the Amusement Archive. 
I'm glad you stuck around watch this video hopefully you stick around and watch plenty more videos I just want to know what kind of videos do you guys like are you into the ride throughs walkthroughs the tours of places are you into toy hunts for Disney stuff uh, souvenir hunts at gift shops I try to provide all that kind of stuff in these videos hopefully you guys like them um, also want to offer up I got a free sticker here it looks kind of like this unless I change the design but um, you can check the description uh, either email me find me on Instagram and uh, send me your address I'll send you out a free sticker definitely appreciate everyone watching my videos and hopefully I can grow this channel and provide more cool stuff for everyone to watch later